Our world seems to become more demanding and isolating every day. Depression rates are increasing and depression is set to become the second to largest cause of disease burden to mankind by the year 2020. We need a better way to manage these issues. Mindfulness is one method that research shows to be able to treat mental illness and improve mental health. It can help people thrive in a constantly demanding world. Scientists have suggested that practicing mindfulness improves our ability to direct our attention, allowing us to better focus on the moment. Focusing on the moment leaves us less prone to distraction by worries, rumination and anxieties. This is almost certainly the result of neuroplastic change, the brain literally rewiring itself to be happier. Previous research has shown that practicing mindfulness increases the amount of grey matter in the frontal cortex, the brain area responsible for attention. Mindfulness has also been found to reduce activity in the amygdala responsible for anxiety and fear and reduce activity in the default mode network responsible for rumination and worry. However, no one has systematically examined the effect of these neuroplastic changes or brain rewiring on brain activity during tasks that require the direction of attention. Our research aims to test these neuroplastic changes by hooking mindful individuals up to an EEG and recording electrical activity from the brain. We'll do this while they attempt to focus their attention away from distractions. For example, this task tests attention during emotional distraction. Mindful individuals will be required to respond to the meaning of the word ignoring the distracting facial emotion. This will tell us how neural activity changes in mindful individuals help with depression and anxiety, where negative emotions, worries and rumination can run wild. These neural changes are also important for compassion. If we can stay focused even in the face of negative emotions, we can be compassionate even in difficult circumstances. So why is all of this important? Mindfulness has been shown to be an effective, non-invasive and side effect free method to treat and prevent mental illness. The eventual goal of our research is to convince policymakers that mindfulness practice should be part of the core curriculum in high schools, teaching our adolescents how to better manage their minds to avoid depression and anxiety. That way they can look forward to a more calm and kind future. The research funding from a Thinkable Award could help make all of this possible.